Welcome to my channel. I'm Shadow Scout Swede. I want to say welcome to my new subscribers. You're very welcome. And I want to say welcome also to my current subscribers. Well, today's topic is community. Okay. This morning, which uh, was basically 3 a.m. in the morning, my time, I were on uh, Gray Man Prepping's channel on his live stream. And he mentioned community. And this is a topic I'm going to talk with you guys about today. Why is it so important to have a community, a prepping, preparedness, survivalist community? There are a couple of reasons for that. One of them is we can learn from each other. We can learn from their experience, their knowledge, because everyone has different knowledge and different perspective and view on how to get things done and how to prepare. So that is one of it. But we can also learn some skills from the community. Everybody has different skills, right? So that is nothing odd with that. It is it is just normal. We can learn. But most of the time you have to do your own research and find what fits your fits you best so and the third one is that we can share knowledge and information in the community which is great and it's good people in the community as well, so I don't mind. I love it, basically. I love the commune prepare and preparedness community on YouTube. I do love that. And why? Because there are so many good people in that community. They can be there for you. If you have some issues or problems that you can't solve, you can talk to them, which is really good. I had done that. I got some help from the community when I was down or depressed. They helped me out. Actually, the YouTube community were better than uh, Shrink because they understood the issue or the problem. And they helped me through it. So I'm very grateful for that. So, we are there for each other. We help each other out. But most of all, we want some to have peace in the community. That is what we want to have. But there, if, there are always people who don't like the idea, uh, 
or the whole thing or the idea uh, of preparedness or things like that okay but you can ask yourself this question why are they there at the first place to uh, cause some trouble for those who have, do their hard work with their videos and work hard to make the channel grow. Peace is something we all need to have in the community. Help each other be good to each other and everybody has their own opinions yes and we should respect each other's opinions as well we can't just go and say hey I can't accept your opinion because I think like this or think like so it doesn't it doesn't work that way. But anyway, even outside YouTube as a prepper or survivalist, you need to have a need to create a community or a preparedness community in your local area. Because that is important. And now you are wondering or asking who shall we ask? Or who would we ask? Or who are we going to involve in the preparedness community on your local? in your local area well begin with a family first family and close friends get them involved and get to get together and plan, make up some plans, go through routines, rules, and things like that. Like a MAG group, uh, which is a mutual assistance group, okay? So, begin there. And I will try to get a preparedness group here in Sweden, where I live. So, but I'm not there yet, but I probably will. But when? Well, that's another question and uh, another answer. I don't have yet at the moment but anyway in a, no matter what in the community and YouTube or on your local area you need to trust the people you need trust is important and share the ideas and spread the word spread the word about preparedness and prepping most people would say 
preppers are nutcases with tinfoil hats or doomsday preppers. But that is not what I am. Because to be a doomsday prepper, they don't have a realistic perspective on what prepping are. I would say like this. I would put it in this way. Prepping is a lifestyle. It is common sense. It always has been common sense. The human being has been preppers for many thousands of years since the Stone Age. But they didn't call preppers. They gathered and hunted what they needed for the winter and stockpiled it and preserved the food so they could stay alive and survive the winter. So prepping is basically common sense. Look around the world these days. It's very tense. A tense situation. One spark can ignite the fuse and the fuse will let the bomb go off. And we will have a world a different kind of world. Not the normal world we are used to but a different one. Another form of existence. Which will be probably a tougher, harder way of life, a way of living. So, stay safe, be prepared, and get things done now before everything goes down, basically goes south. So, get everything you need now. Because we have prepared for tomorrow and for your future. It's your family. You need to have to think of so I guess this gotta be a Oh, 30 minutes and 55 seconds. This got to be, I didn't thought this would be so long, but anyway. Begin to prepare if you haven't done that yet. Or begin with that. Stockpile, food, water. and other necessary things like medicines. So, begin now, before it's too late. Because the world getting harder and tougher. We never know when everything goes south. And we are living in a SHTF situation. Anyway, 
A good community is a strong community. And the preparedness and prepping community are united under one and the same banner with the same mindset with other people who are like-minded so that is all I had to say for today's video but thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you haven't done that yet and please like and please put a comment and I will see you guys in the next one long live the king stay safe Shadow Scott Swede out <laughs>